Hello everyone, welcome to our Black Friday video, Yay. strangely. Um, this year Black Friday is really not happening for obvious reasons, uh, it's something that probably should go away anyway. Um, but we, as you've been watching our channel over the years, and if you haven't checked those old videos out, I think there's some of them still hold up, hold up to be pretty fantastic. We would go every Black Friday, not to the mall or anything, just to our local independently owned video game uh, stores. Then they were pretty cool and they're fun to like to support them. And we'd often take our younger siblings with us in years past if they were home from college. This year that's not happening, and they're not doing really any sales um, at all. There's nothing going on at all. Um, and that's normally when we get a huge chunk of our video game collection for the year. Mm -hmm. um, I think last year was kind of different because we had a lot of Switch games pre-ordered and like things like the Final Fantasy VII Remake and the end of last year like uh, Shenmue 3. That was unusual. Usually it's like a big chunk at the end when we go for their sale. So instead we used like some eBay gift cards that we had and got a bunch of games and mostly Amanda because I got some more movies and things like that. So that means a lot of PlayStation 4. So we're wearing our PlayStation shirts here because I like the PlayStation 4, but this is the queen of PlayStation 4 right I here. I love PS4. So let's go through all the PS4 games that you got so online here. This first one, we actually just did a video on a little yeah, bit Yeah, and it's ago. a related movie of Jackie Chan and yes, everything. So this is so. a movie tie-in yeah. game, which is actually really fun. Yeah, so that one you've seen before. Monkey King. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we both played through that. We beat that already. It's a good game. Fun. Totally play that. Uh, this, I believe, is an Amiga game. Mm. Oh yeah, remake, yeah. I think yeah. this is an Amiga game. It's Putty Squad. Yeah. So I've never played that. I'm yeah. kind of interested to check that out. A lot of indie games and a lot of uh, remasters and remakes of older games. We like a lot of those on PlayStation 4. A yes. lot of shorter games are cheap to get, so yes. a lot of fun. This one I played a little bit of, Legend of K Anniversary. It's in the old style of gaming where there are some very difficult parts that are not explained to you, but overall a very fun experience so far. This one I'm loving. I'm probably going to beat it this weekend. This is medieval. And you said there's a second one of this. Yeah, on PlayStation 1. I don't, so, know, if they, I don't know if they're going to remake it or I'm not. I'm hoping but. they do because so far I love this. Yeah, I'm going to check is, that out because I remember playing this that This is on, super fun. I played it on PS1 when uh, it came I've out. I've played but. a lot of this and yeah. definitely, definitely fun. There are some, again, some parts that are hard. Mm -hmm. And shouldn't be, but... Yeah, I watched you play the first maybe like 15, 20 minutes or so, and it seems like a real faithful remake, so... Really, real really fun. good. This next one I don't really know a lot about, but it looked really funny. I enjoyed it. This is British, The Inner World, The Last Wing Monk, and it comes with the prequel game. Um, I guess it's just on there. I don't know. It looked like a game that I would enjoy. Yeah. It was pretty cheap. That's one I don't think I'm going to check out. It doesn't weird. look like a step. But that one I will be playing. Something this like. is an Italian game, mm -hmm. so we're going like all over the world. Yes, yeah, the land of food and beautiful women. Italy. Close to the sun. Mm -hmm. This is about Tesla. That looks really fun. This looks really fun, so yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited about that one. And then another one that the internet doesn't seem to like, but I was, yeah, was a lot recommended of their to A lot of their complaints sound like are things what that you I would like. like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Order 1886, and I think everyone was just kind of angry that they spent lots of money on this. Yeah. I did not spend I think it's going to be this. different that you paid like less than 10 bucks versus people who paid 60 I think that's a yeah, different I expectation. Think that, so I think it's like a little bit better. Yeah. But I'm excited to play this. This looks like my kind of game. And I might play it too. It, I think, like, I from what it, it sounds like, the at least the the world and the atmosphere and the story they created is at least good. Yeah, yeah. It's just very, very short and not as interactive as people thought it was going to be just different. But I think it looks kind of cool. I love my PS4. So I'll check that. And then we did so go to just to see um, what was going on at that um, video game store we go to. Kind of an off day because they had dollar DVD sales and we were looking for stuff for us or for the store. There's really not much of anything. There. They had nothing in stock. Um, it was really bad. But we did pick up two things while we were there. Uh, Amanda got those stacks of PS4 games, so while we were there, I we got those up, on the internet. On the um, yeah, on the internet. So those, those were got, not. Yeah, we had eBay gift cards, and we used those and got all that. Um, I got one game while I was there, one I've wanted to play for a while, uh, the uh, Persona 5, and I love Persona. I started with the first Persona on PS1. Persona 3 and 4 are definitely my favorites, um, but I just have never had a chance to play Persona 5. Never went ahead and got it. I was playing so many other games that it just kind of back of the list, so I'm very, very excited to play this because I really enjoy Persona. And the 
PlayStation hits actually looks pretty. Yeah, because there's so I much like the there's so much red already that it actually kind of looked good. We have two games now. That yeah, only, are like only that. two. Out Yakuza of like, also. Yeah, Yakuza, Yakuza Zero, Zero yeah. also looks good. Yeah. With PlayStation hits. But and those are only two out of like 40 games that are PlayStation hits, and they actually work color wise. The color schemes of. But hopefully that isn't um, as colorful as. Persona 4. Four. <laughs> yeah. I really don't get why Persona 4 Golden is not on PlayStation 4 or Switch. It's I okay. mean, and it, and it sold like, it was just released on Steam not that long ago, and Alice and Sega were like shocked at how well it did. Of course it did well. It was stuck on the Vita. It's and okay. Then, yeah, no, it can stay where it no, is. No, just give me Persona 3. Yeah, we're getting Nocturne, and the, my three that I want Nocturne, Persona 3, and 4. So I want Nocturne. Digital Devil Saga. That would be cool, the duology, but I don't think those would be popular oh, enough. Those would be cool, but we have them on PS2. but... Not so, playing the PS2. Yeah, no, it's PS4 or nothing for you, I know. But Persona 5, so I'm going to play that eventually. But uh, Panzer Dragoon is finally on its way. It's being shipped uh, from Limited Run Games, so that's definitely going to be my next game. The other thing was this oddball that we ended up watching after we made lunch. Uh, we saw that you saw this on the shelf. Uh, Lara Croft, Lethal, and Loaded. And I really like uh, the Tomb Raider franchise, particularly the ones on PS1 and the Dreamcast and... Even the first round of remakes before they restarted it again on like 360 and whatever. And this is cool because it's a documentary, but it's not a documentary not about really. the making. Yeah, it's not the making of Lara Croft at all. No. This is all about the phenomenon of Lara Croft to the point where at some point they are interviewing these really creepy guys that like obsessively like Lara Croft is like their girlfriend and like weird stuff yeah but, they're talking about how she's a real person yeah but it's all about like the all the old uh, promotional stuff they used to do and how she was just especially in uh the uk in everything with advertisements and like lookalikes using different ad campaigns and just the the all the like cu the cultural impact of Lara croft the character in the 90s into the very early 2000s um if you were around for that you probably remember i mean this is about an hour long and it was interesting because, again, like a, a look at how they, you know, the making of the games would have been more interesting, but more expected. That's what I thought we yeah. were getting. Yeah, so it's not as interesting, but it's definitely, it's something unique and very bizarre. So I was, I was very happy that it was something offbeat. So like you're never going to see something like this again. Very odd. But yeah, so it's about the cultural phenomenon that was Tomb Raider rather than just a straight making of. Very bizarre. But yeah, so that was an interesting way to uh, cap off our... Our trip. So this is kind of our Black Friday video Yay. for this year. For, for 2020. 2020. It's a 2020 kind 2020 of... 2020 Black Friday. So let us know if you got anything. Yep, and what you've been playing lately. Have you, and have you played any of these? Let us know. Let us and know. We'd love to hear.